I hate Valentine's Day. Did you ever imagine that Julia Roberts is going to take a nap on my shoulder? If only. Yeah. One day. I didn't think that big. Come on. Oh, please make it happen. <laughs> no, but it's, I mean, it's ridiculous I get to work with her. Ridiculous in a good way. <laughs> She's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm leaning on my shoulder. Come on, <clears throat> at least I could do a 14-hour flight. Gary Marshall told me that there's a great story behind the name on your uniform. Well, number one, I wouldn't call it a great... <laughs> story. My daughter's name is Hazel. And it was actually Gary who thought this. Gary loves to make little tricks and jokes out of everything. Like, for example, he said, don't you think since you guys are on this plane, when the plane is landing, the pilot should say, well, the weather is expected to be warm and sunny after three days of rain. Which was the name right. of the play we were in. Right. So he likes all these little cutie things. Little inside jokes. Yeah. Where's Elmo kind of stuff? Waldo. Waldo. It's okay. Yeah. And so Hazeltine is from my daughter's name and he had given me a list of, like there was Richard Gere name jokes, like all these little funny things and Hazeltine ended up being the one that got approved by the lawyers or whatever. I turned it into a story, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, that was a very good one. He's married. Great, I, I highly recommend it. I think pinatas should be brought back for adult parties, for sure. It was good, I was sore for days. Was that one shoot? No, we did it a bunch. Many pinatas went down. How many down. times did you hit the pinata thinking it was gonna break and it didn't break? <laughs> a lot. I think that Americans need to develop some cultural breaking thing. thing. Like, like the, uh, the, the plates? Yeah, like the Greeks have the plates, mm. the Mexican culture has the pinata. Like, what is it, what if Americans get a break? I think yeah. we need something to take out a little bit of our aggression. Which was Valentine's Day, you don't think. You just do. One of my best friends is one of the best florists in the world. His name's Eric Buderbaugh, and I went and worked in his shop for a couple weeks before we did the movie, and uh, learned about the flowers, learned how to cut the flowers, learned how to place the flowers. He showed up on set and whipped them all into shape. Really? They had flowers, but they didn't have flowers until Ashton got there. Unacceptable, it's not gonna work. I wasn't that, I wasn't <laughs> that. Are we doing I was just like, uh, throwing them away. <laughs> but then I spent so many nights thinking, how you did me wrong, and I grew strong, and I learned how to get along. I've been telling her yeah. for years <laughs> to do a record. That just sort of happened, that little singing mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Just because you play so well, and mm -hmm. I think Gary wanted to just mm -hmm. make the party a real party. So he's just messing around. Mm -hmm. Would you do a record? I don't know. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Top seller, I feel it. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I feel a little you bit intimidated redo, by that you world. You should redo the Eurythmics. Sweet Ooh, dream. that's a good song. Sweet dreams, you should redo that. I guarantee. I, I'm sort of more like of a the black leather corny oh. theater dork, you right, know, like on stage kind of thing. I don't know. I'm I don't, uh, maybe maybe if if it was the right sort of okay. scenario. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. She's so cute. When I saw the movie, I, I didn't even know her character was as big as it was, and um, she's adorable. I just loved watching her and, and the other Taylor, their relationship. Did you like your gift? I, I didn't open it yet. You need to open it! <laughs> well, I just think you can't go wrong with flowers and chocolate. It's baseline, right? It's not so fancy, it's not genius, but it, you know, that's keeping the bar in check. I just think, boom, you've made the effort, you've shown up, you've got the flowers and chocolate, you're good to go. My closest relationship is with my Blackberry. Right. Thank God it vibrates. What are the keys to having a romantic Valentine's Day? Well, you gotta tell me what type of budget you're working with first, and you gotta tell me what type of lady <laughs> that you're working with because that will deem the budget. Uh, you know, <laughs> some women like it organic in the park somewhere, you know, something, you know, easy going and then some women are like okay what plane are we getting on is it vegas is it uh what's up in, in denver is it uh aspen oh, what are aspen. we doing <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean that type thing so it depends if you're dating in la hollywood or if you're dating a girl you know in orange county you know it, it depends we were talking yeah. about this before mm -hmm. simple is better mm -hmm. personal picnic in the park yeah. great that would be that's lovely. Great. That That's kind of my vibe. I think if you're just um, creative and genuine, if you just write a little note telling your lady how much you appreciate her, that you're thinking about her, little things like that, running a bath for her, you know, just things that are considerate 
and selfless.